This video is for entertainment purposes only. Let's roll! Welcome back to Range Randomness, Episode 3. It doesn't lock in the battery. Sometimes it gets jammed up. And I just need to go ahead and be more cognizant of the sizing on the 45s when I reload them. But it's, um, you know, like I say, factory loads, it works fine, but I can't get factory ammo. months ago. I, mean, I didn't even know that my gut was that big until I got on camera here. First time running steel targets. I got another steel coming in the mail of a video on how I put those together. But I think this thing's going to pay for itself. I'm loving the steel target. So I'm running a commander with an inside the waistband. hear me calling off times but should have sized it better but um, kind of good to work from the holster because in an indoor range I don't get to work from the holster and I don't get to practice on drawing so just those few one buzz one shot presentation drills are really seem to be going to be helping me out I think That's the learning, I think. I keep I keep slapping the bottom of that mag to try to drive that slide home. Sometimes if I just slap the bottom of the mag, it'll go back into battery.
think I'm at 25 yards, 20 yards. So here's a 50 yard. I think this was with my CZ-75. CZ-75. This is where I get some pretty good times just pulling from the holster and uh, just hitting that steel going between double action and single action shots and a few of them starting from cocked and locked. Reach for my tourniquet instead of the mag pouch. Knew I should have wore a mag pouch that day. saying anyway but so just kinda hang it right I'm here drawing from a Galco it. open top There's holster I'm using that shot timer okay. and uh, that CZ 75B just hums right along it, it actually just away. it just it'll just crunch out we'll anything it crunches right. out all of my reloads I've never I don't think I've had I haven't shot it a whole whole lot but I haven't had like one stoppage so uh, you probably can't hear me over the wind. I should actually probably have some kind of wireless mic, but yeah, coming out here with the steel targets and finally having the steel targets and coming out here, just setting up, getting a few shots in real quick, getting a few drills in. One thing I did notice though about doing this was 
I didn't get off of the X. Now I need to start, now that I'm able to move around some and there's no one side to side to me like in a class setting, I need to start getting off the X and moving to the side a little bit when I pull. This was interesting because during these drills, I had a few rounds actually become dislodged from the casings and stop the cylinder from rotating. And then, of course, when I pulled the rounds out, there's powder all over the, ins the gun. I had to blow it all out. Yeah, locked up here. And it must have it must have not been crimped right, and the and the round came loose from the casing. I mean, if I had factory rounds, I'd shoot factory rounds. I love factory ammo. When the next loads will be 124s. I probably should see it a little bit better. These are 115s. They're a little short. Yeah, that's that's what
let's see how long that takes me to do. I saw that one. So reach in and grab the reload out of my pocket here if it works. Experience this. I used to have to enroll in a class, and you now I haul my own steel to the range, and haul my own steel to the or my own timer to the range, and I have a second plate coming today. So it's, it's shipping three different uh, shipments. Uh, yeah, look at that, all over the place. So a couple there, I didn't, I didn't, you know, watch my sights. I wonder if I. Look at that. It looked like I pinged that that, uh, that thing there a few times. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, these things are pretty cool. They uh, they uh, they angle down immediately. Did this come loose by any chance? Oh, that came loose a little bit, but still stuck on there. All right, good. So. Cut that 2 by 4 out. I'm, I'm really getting the kick out of this. I got a second one coming. I'm gonna make a like a like a, uh, a Vickers style barricade or a VTAC barricade. I don't know how, I don't know what all goes into that, but I'm gonna make one of those. I'll make a system that folds out with wheels. I can carry it out here, lay them out, set these two up, get a session in, and then head back home. That way I can you know at least I figure I'd rather shoot 100 rounds every couple weeks than shoot 300 rounds one day out of the year. So, I think I'm going to enjoy this. So, all right, guys. Well, don't let the 
haters hate on your nine millimeter revolvers and slower times and and uh, steel targets. Don't worry about the haters. Just let the haters worry about you. Focus on your success. All right, that's what I'm doing here today. I'm getting out here and I'm, I'm pushing through and I'm you know I'm correcting my my problems. You saw a couple of problems back there when I was shooting 50 yards away. It's 50 yards away, guys, with a pistol. But what do you want? Pretty soon. I'll come out here, I'll be able to put all 10 rounds or all 15, 20 rounds on out of, out of that, or that whole box out of that steel from 50 yards away. So who's to say, you know? Got to start somewhere. And going to indoor ranges every day is great, but it's good to get out here and do some uh, from the holster drills and draw time and things like that. And I can keep the day, the indoor range for the inclement weather or whatever. So, all right, guys, we'll see you on the next.